What's up guys? So, uh, your boy's got some severely bad allergies right now. It'll eventually fade, hopefully, but uh, I just wanted to mention also for those of you guys who didn't enter the Carly Adapter, so many of you guys have entered on the second channel. There's gonna be a link down below, first link. Click on that link, all you gotta do is comment and subscribe to the channel, and as soon as you do that, you'll be entered for the Carly Adapter giveaway. I'll be announcing it on the second channel as well, so if you guys really wanna win a free Carly Adapter, this is the time. I'm not giving away one, I'm not giving away two, I'm giving away three Carly Adapters. A huge special shout out to Carly for making this happen. So again, check out the first link down below. And also guys, in commemoration, I would say, for the two 135 manuals, uh, we do have some new decals, save the manual, save the BMW. So if you guys want to check those out, check them out down below. Everyone that cops those will be entered into the plaque for the 135s. And I'm actually making like a separate plaque for like either of them. I'm going to make a plaque for the both of them, both 135, N54, N55. It's pretty much going to be titled Double Trouble. So if you guys want to be a part of that, I think it's going to be super sick. I pretty much got the M4 plaque and the 740 LI plaque done. If you guys follow me on Instagram, you guys saw those have been complete. Those are going to be put up in the garage. And those of you guys who supported those builds will be featured in the near future when they're all put up in the garage. Without further ado, let's go ahead and jump into the video. What's up, guys? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another video. And in today's video, we got the 135 N54 just chilling in the garage. And we also have the 135 N55 chilling across the street. So uh, that's actually been the new daily. We already got that thing registered and everything. You just needed a smog. If you guys want to avoid that four hour wait at the DMV and sometimes even longer, make sure to check out these guys. They are absolutely amazing. Located in the Elk Grove area. Best registration office I've ever been to. That was super easy. And actually the tags are paid for for a year up front. So uh, the previous owner, shout out to you, my guy. You did some crazy stuff on there. Basically, I only paid 150 bucks to get that thing under my name, which is pretty awesome. Other than taxes, of course. I still gotta pay for taxes, but any hoozles. But in terms of this car, guys, this car actually has a full story. Crazy, crazy, crazy story. I don't even know what to tell you guys. I don't know how to tell you guys, but basically, I knew buying a car, and if it wasn't from insurance, there has to be something wrong with it, right? I mean, why would you send it off to Copart yourself unless there's something wrong with it and you can't sell it to the public, right? So I kept on thinking, I kept on thinking. I'm like, what can it possibly be? The car starts up the car drives it has a check engine i mean it has a service engine but it's throwing it for the cats because of the o2 sensors and i'm like well i mean it has countless downpipes so i mean that's not a big deal i gave it a few rips down the road and it was just fine i want to know why this thing hit copart because again it wasn't insurance the front bumper had barely any damage to it i mean like that's not a reason for a car to be totaled out so then my boy blake came over he actually came over to help us with the m5 and uh that footage is hopefully gonna be with the m5 uh, but basically he was trying to help me with the car i couldn't get the car started just yet but hopefully tomorrow or tonight uh, when the sensor comes in, I'll be able to get that thing started, hopefully, if, the, that, if the sensor is the issue. But yeah, getting back to this car, Blake apparently was like, I know this car. And I was like, what do you mean? He's like, this is my friend's car. And I was like, no way. He's a really close friend in, ca in California tuned, apparently. And I don't know if you guys can see it, but it's California tuned decals right here and right here. Like, I knew it had something to do with California tuned, but I was like, I'm not sure what that was. He's like, yeah, that's my friend's car. I know that guy. And I'm like, oh, that's crazy. So he hit him up on Instagram. He literally had the exact same car on his Instagram. And then he asked him, he's like, so why did you send this thing off to Copart? And he's like, uh, well, it's been sitting. And I was like, hmm, okay, sitting. Is that a really legitimate reason? He's like, yeah, it's been sitting for four years. So, uh... The four years is an assumption. He just said it's been sitting for a very long time, but I checked the registration on this car and it hasn't been registered since 20, I think uh, 2017. So it's been four years that it hasn't been registered. And I think the reason why it actually has a salvage title was because it had to get totaled out. Um, that was one of the main things also, because I, I know also there's a different way if you don't want to pay the backup registration fees, you can total the car out and just register for the current year. I think that's also a thing you can do here in California. Not too sure, correct me if I'm wrong, but I think that's something you guys can do. He said, yeah, it's been sitting for a long time and they work on they focus on classic cars over there they don't really care about this car anymore so he's like i don't really want to deal with it his bumper his brother just like ripped off the front bumper or something and uh he was like i don't really need the car i mean he ripped off the front bumper it's been sitting for a long time and uh he couldn't smog it to sell it and that's why you guys can see the full bolt-on catless down pipes literally everything uh he couldn't smog the cars he's like you know what let me just send it to copart and sell it through there so on the plus side we do not have blown turbos we don't have any issues with this car he actually said he also did a walnut blast and it has ar down pipes which i will be taking off and i'll probably be selling but ar down pipes guys if you guys don't know those things go for like 800 to a thousand dollars which is absolutely insane so it's crazy that it has ar down pipes and also it actually has afe intakes these are the expensive intakes i think one of the most expensive n54 intakes he has a real tile blow-off valve in there and an evolution raceworks charge pipe and evolution raceworks intercooler and you would think it does it have a tune and yeah he told me he has also a jb4 tune on this thing so it's just absolutely insane how much modifications were done to this car but he's like yeah i don't really want to go through it put it all back to stock smog it 
I just wanted to get rid of it and it's been sitting for a long time. He doesn't care about it. Like what are the odds of that guys? I literally thought it had to have some kind of engine issue or turbo issue, but I gave it a few rips and it was absolutely perfect. When I mean rips, I mean just, you know, right around the corner, but I mean. So yeah guys, that is the full story. A lot of me talking in the beginning. I know, I know. So we're actually gonna dive into the car. What we need to do now, I did an oil filter change uh, yesterday with Jonathan. So I'm gonna go ahead and throw in some of the footage right here. basically did the oil change and then right after the oil change we realized we didn't have a filter and uh, I was gonna get a filter from AutoZone but you're not supposed to be using an AutoZone uh, filter for these cars oil filter I heard that you can't use anything but the OEM one so went ahead and get went down to BMW today got a new filter so we're gonna go ahead and replace the filter with this new one here and then also I found this intake used on offer up so I went ahead and picked this thing up for $40 and also got this new PCV hose we need to remove the oil catch can because that would fill smog right here so I need to put this back to stock remove the oil catch can and I need to remove this intake, put the stock intake back. I'm looking for a charge pipe. Let me know if any of you guys have a charge pipe with the hoses and the vacuum lines and everything. I need all of that. And also, if any of you guys have a stock intercooler, that would be amazing as well. I need to remove this intercooler. And the last thing, obviously, is the downpipes on the bottom of the car, guys. So I need some cats. I mean, I know car cats are hard to come by, but if any of you guys have some leftover cats that you don't need, you've already sold your 135 or your 335, and you guys have some cats for your N54, please hit me up. I really, really, really need them um, and I, so I can get this thing smog. So yeah, hit me up on Instagram if you guys do. But without further ado, let's go ahead and start working on this car and start taking some things apart. the thing we got to remove right now. So this oil catch can has the two lines that actually go back here. So we need to remove this clip that holds it out to the original place and also this one right here. So we need to remove both these lines. This thing runs all the way back over here. So yeah, that's pretty much how we remove that. And then I think there's a few mounting brackets um, somewhere over here. I think just this front one. Um, let's go in and remove this guy. <laughs> Pretty much demounted the oil catch can. This is totally unfortunate because honestly, because every turbo car needs an oil catch can. Uh, but yeah, we went ahead and removed it. it. Looks like it should be a direct plug and play with the, the hose that we just got. Uh, this is all the stuff I took off of it. I'm about to open this up and just see, does an oil catch can actually hold oil? That is my real question because I always buy these guys, but um, do they really hold oil? I'm assuming there should be some oil in here. And if we can see some oil in here, that means this thing is really doing its job. First things first, let's just go ahead and put that hose back on. That was honestly so easy to put back on. That was satisfying. <laughs> but I mean, the part that sucks now is I'm gonna have some carbon buildup. The previous owner did do a one-up blast and then added an oil catch can. So there shouldn't be any carbon buildup right now. After I actually do smog, I might actually put that right back on or uh, maybe get one from Burger Tuning because this one, eh, it's in, a little, it's, in, it's in a little rough shape. It's a little dirty. I might try to get a Burger Tuning one just because they're a lot nicer <laughs> and just because I love Burger Tuning. But anyhow, after the next thing, I wanna go ahead and replace the intakes. Let's go ahead and remove these intakes and put back the stock one. Guys, I can see why these intakes are $500. Look at the heat shield that's in this. It directs the air literally right into the intakes, which is super, super, super cool and prevents any heat from actually getting in there. I wish every single intake brand actually comes with this heat shield. This is super nice, honestly, even the setup and everything. AFE actually sells their own intakes as well. So if these intakes go bad, like these ones are, could be in better shape, honestly. You can just order the intakes. You don't have to order the whole setup. I think each intake's like $60 and this whole setup's like $500. So once you order all this, you just have to replace these two and uh, you'll be good to go but honestly guys like look at the quality in this setup here nor is impressed nor is very impressed Guys, this N54 is honestly a gem. Literally no turbo leaks, no turbo issues. And uh, even if you guys look over here, there is no actual oil in there. Just a little bit of oil and some fresh oil because I literally just dumped it when I did the oil change. Uh, but just a little right there and I could tell that's because of me. Everywhere else looks pretty dang good, which is absolutely insane. A lot of spider webs because this thing has been sitting for a little bit. But yeah, we did put in new oil. We do need to add in a new filter right now. I did take off the AFE intake. It's actually pretty easy to install and uninstall. It's a couple 
couple pieces, which is pretty awesome. So I'm actually gonna detail this stuff. I'm gonna go ahead and detail this stuff. I'm actually gonna detail everything you guys see here before we actually put everything in because this thing is super dirty and I want it to look as good as possible. And this new intake box has also been sitting out for a long time. I can tell, it's spider webs and everything. So let's go ahead and clean this as well before actually throwing that in. But before we actually clean everything, guys, let's go ahead and replace this filter. Guys, look how dark that oil is. I've never seen oil that dark in my life. Uh, but actually looking in between all of these, this is the filter that was in the car. It actually does not look to be in rough shape. Uh, looks like it's been replaced before it actually was sitting. So not too bad. I don't actually see any metal fragments, which is really, really, really good. Um, yeah, guys, oh my God, this car is honestly a gem. Just some seriously bad oil, but uh, out with the old and in with the new, guys. I do need to clean out all that old oil first, so uh, give me a second, boys. Now that that's cleaned up and we have the new filter, new gaskets and everything, let's go ahead and just put that little bad boy into that BMW original stuff. You guys know what I mean. And we should be good to go, boys. All right, guys, after opening the lid, I found these in there. Basically, it looks like some steel wool. I don't know why, but uh, not much oil in there. I don't know if this was, you know, freshly put on. I mean, there's oil through the entire line itself. So I guess this takes time to build up. I mean, I guess that's a good thing, right? But anywho, I'm gonna go ahead and just clean this thing off. I mean, I really don't need this catch can, guys. I'm gonna put it up on my website for literally dirt cheap. So if you guys need an old catch can, I'm gonna put this together and uh, sell it all together. I'm actually gonna include all this stuff, including this little piece. I don't know if you guys are gonna need all that parts. Maybe you guys can make your own hoses, but I'll throw it all in together. It's gonna be a little bit messy, but uh, I'm gonna put it up on my website for you guys for dummy cheap. And as for the AFE intake setup, I'm actually gonna be putting this on my website as well, because if anything, I'm gonna go with burger tuning everything. So if you guys want these parts make sure to check out my website down below but yeah eventually i'm gonna be taking off this blow up valve these charge pipe intercooler down pipes this all is gonna go on my website for literally a fraction of the price of how much they originally go for again i just don't need them i need this thing to pass smog and then ultimately if we're gonna be modifying this again i'm gonna be going through burger tuning because i absolutely just love those guys Guys, we finally got the stock intake, the stock PCB, so no more oil catch can. We got a filter in this bad boy. So the next, hopefully in the next video, I'm actually gonna leave this power steering, and get, he upgraded the power steering, which is really nice. This isn't gonna fill any inspections. So I'm actually gonna leave that there. It's actually really, really, really nice. I love these ones because these ones actually don't leak anything. You can get these directly from BMW or actually FCP Air with a lifetime warranty. Just in case it starts leaking, you can go ahead and replace it for free. When I get the charge pipe in, I'll, I'll be able to replace that, take off the charge pipe, take off the blow up valve. And actually, I forgot about the JB4. We're gonna have to take that off as well. Hit me up, guys. Let me know if you guys need anything right now before I actually put it up on the website as well. And I'll have already a few things listed up right now. I just need stock parts because we just need to pass smart. And this is the next day, guys. Um, basically, I want to remove the JB4 in this video as well because I, I really want to do as much things as we can possibly do today. Well, technically, in this video, as we possibly could until the charge pipe comes in, until the down pipes come in. At least we can remove everything else. Just like that, guys. The last thing that the inspection is actually gonna look at is this blow up valve and charge pipe. So we're gonna have to get this out as soon as our new part comes in. Uh, the intercooler, I don't really think it's too noticeable. Honestly, this looks pretty factory in my opinion. It is the smaller one too. So uh, I might even just actually leave this in here because I don't think it's gonna be noticeable by inspection. The funny thing is with me, guys, normally when I buy cars from Copart, I have to originally rebuild it to go get the inspection done. This one's already rebuilt, but it has full bolt-ons. So I need to remove the bolt-ons to do the inspection. This is the weirdest inspection I've ever had 
to do, but I mean, you got to do what you got to do. So yeah, guys, I finally pulled out the GB4. It has the old housing on the GB4, but this is all the original stuff, and this is pretty much the regular uh, wiring stuff from the GB4. So it's pretty cool that it actually came with this. I didn't actually know when bidding on the car that it had a GB4 or AR downpipes, which is absolutely insane. The previous owner did put some really high quality parts on this car. Like I said, guys, tile blow off valve, Evolution Raceworks charge pipe, JV4, AR downpipes, and an oil catch can. He already did the one-up blast and everything. He really did care about this car. And I need to show you guys the bottom of this car one of these days. It is super clean. Like, there was literally no leaks. I mean, I mean, there's a few little leaks, but I mean, everything is dried up. Like, it's just shocking to see an N54 with zero leaks. I mean, I've never seen that before. But as for now, guys, that's going to conclude this video. Make sure to check out that link down below for the hashtag save a BMW and hashtag save the manual decal. I mean, link down below. Everyone that cops those decals will be put on the 135 double trouble plan. So basically, I'm going to have a 135 plaque, and it's going to have basically both 135s on there, so you're supporting both bills by basically picking up Save the Manual, Save the BMW, and any merch at all from today till the end of this month. The M5 sensor to get the car to crank over is still not here yet. We're still waiting on that sensor. For some reason, it got lost in shipment. Uh, it's saying that the estimated day is pending now. It used to say yesterday, but now I don't know what the heck is going on, to be honest. So we're still waiting on that sensor, and we're still waiting on the 7 series. The transmission did get swapped out completely at Showman Motors, so we're still waiting on what's going on with that exactly. Probably needs to get coded and things like that, so as soon as that gets done, we'll be picking up the 7 Series, bringing it back, and fixing all the little flaws with that car and all the imperfections. And I've already partnered up with Keys Motorsports and Burger Tuning for the 135, both of them actually, which is absolutely insane, and the M5, which is absolutely insane. So I'm super excited for the upcoming builds, the upcoming projects. If you guys are excited too, make sure to smash the like button. Without further ado, guys, I love y'all so much. Remember to stay humble. i see you guys in the next one. Peace out. Oh,